Kelly Packer. <laughs> Outside your role uh, with the Association of Idaho Studies, you recently became a board member for the Idaho Contraception Education Network. Um, can you first, can you tell me a little bit about what that is dedicated to and what motivated you to become involved? You bet. So the Idaho Contraceptive Education Network is exactly what it sounds like. It is there to help educate everyone, males and females alike, old and young, um, everybody um, on what contraceptives are available and what their uses are. Um, because there's a lot of misconceptions out there and, and, and a lot of ignorance around what contraceptives can and can't be used for and why they're so important. Um, there's some that think that contraceptives, certain contraceptives, the morning after pill to be specific, can terminate pregnancy and it does not. It does not terminate life. It, it, it keeps life from happening um, after um, you know any type of sexual um, intercourse, but it doesn't terminate the life. And it's still so very important for women to be able to have their say in what works for them and their ability to plan for their family in a thoughtful way. We want women to be able to have um, these tools, these medical devices and, and this medical treatment for all of the varied reasons they're used for, from not just preventing pregnancy, which is important, um, both for financial and mental health and other reasons, but also um, to be able to have them for um, some very serious situations like endometriosis and polycystic um, ovarian syndrome and um, acne and even fertility needs, um, ironically. So what we wanted to do is make sure that as Republican women, that have been in leadership positions in this state before and who have a name that may be known in different areas of the state, mine in the Southern area, um, and then um, uh, Laurie likely in the Magic Valley area and both of us here in Treasure Valley and then Tara up North as well as in Treasure Valley. We wanted to be able to span the, the geographic footprint as well as make sure that individuals knew that Republican women understand the importance of contraceptives and that they should not be conflated with the abortion discussions that have been happening. Is there a reason that you started it now? Uh, what motivated uh, you to begin? You bet. So last year, and I'm not gonna remember the House bill um, off the top of my head, but there was a bill that was brought, brought forward to clarify some things around abortion. And unfortunately, um, contraceptives had gotten wrapped up in that bill initially. Um, and so we did have to have that amended to clarify, which they did. And I thank the legislature for that. Um, but again, it was because of lack of understanding. And so we just felt that rather than going into another legislative session without the educational tools being available, that we would be proactive and make sure that we had a website where we could send people to do their own research um, to un better understand what's available and what the uses are, and also so that we could have um, a foundation built where we could have conversations, if needed, with those policymakers and others on what is and isn't factual in that arena. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You bet.